Hello everyone, my name is Evie Lupine. Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you all. Today I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of a shorter video here. I know recently a lot of my videos have been like 20 plus minutes long so I'm going to try and cut this one down and today what we're going to be talking about is expressing gratitude in BDSM relationships, particularly in service focused dynamics. This is inspired by a question I got over on my Patreon exclusive Discord chat. If you want to find out more about the Discord chat specifically, the link will be down below if you're interested in checking out my Patreon. But anyways, somebody on there was sharing a personal story about their own BDSM relationship and struggling uh, with feeling like their service was being recognized. And I am here to say this is a very common occurrence. If you are in a relationship with somebody who is a submissive, if you are a service focused submissive yourselves, many of us come from backgrounds because we have sort of this internal drive to submission, this internal drive to serve others that for a lot of us for the most part of our lives until we discover BDSM and discover healthy relationships can oftentimes inadvertently get taken advantage of by the people around us, our friends, our families, our vanilla relationships. And a lot of it can be very thankless. A lot of it can be not very mindful. A lot of it can end up being hurtful because it ends with the person who is providing the service feeling like for whatever reason their efforts aren't being recognized. Now this is not to say that in villainous relationships people don't know how to recognize the actions of their partners but because a lot of things about vanilla relationships, family, friendships, romantic entanglements, sexual relationships, all of those things are the norm. A lot of how those relationships are done is very subconscious, almost instinctual, and so there's not a lot of set protocol like there is in BDSM for asking somebody to do something, having expectations, having rewards, and the focus of this video, having recognition for your actions. I just want to start out by saying that it is not unusual or wrong or bad as a service submissive to want to be thanked for your work. That is not strange at all. It doesn't mean you're not a real service submissive. There are people out there who have relationships and just internally enjoy not being thanked, not being directly called out in their service, if that makes sense, sort of being the fly on the wall, being in the background, just being able to quietly do their thing and be that's totally valid too. But most of us, just as people, as humans, need to feel like our actions are recognized by our partners. And that doesn't stop when we are in BDSM relationships. I think in some ways it actually makes it even more heightened. So today what I'm going to be talking about is how do you incorporate gratitude and thankfulness into a BDSM dynamic and especially how can you do so without disrupting the framework of the BDSM relationship without making it feel like for some reason the DS is being transgressed in some way. If you're interested in how to show gratitude for your dominant, I have a whole other video where I talk about how to reward your dominant and that's very much in the same vein as this video, so check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But I think the key way that we can show gratitude to service submissives is through just a simple thank you. Honestly, you would be surprised how often people don't think about saying thanks. And this is not a derisive comment towards anybody or anybody's natural style of communication. But because of how BDSM relationships are structured and the submissive goes into it purposefully and consensually, and then it becomes their job to do these chores. It's almost like the BDSM relationship itself is supposed to be the thanks which is part of it, but even just hearing a really simple thank you can be so helpful and just leave any doubt out of the submissive's mind about what they are in their relationship and how important their service is. Because I think that's what a lot of this really goes back to. It's not necessarily feeling like the submissive needs to have their service thanked because that's a polite thing to do. It's about making sure that the dominant is engaged in the service and that is part of how you get the field feedback loop the positive response cycle that helps the submissive receive dominant energy in a conscious chosen bdsm relationship focused on service 
that I think is a little bit more difficult to get to in service than it is in, say, a bondage-focused relationship or an SM-focused relationship. You don't need to go over the top with it, just when you are receiving a plate, when you are receiving a drink, you know, as the shoes have been taken off or the coat has been removed, you just say, thank you. Or uh, you can use the title, you know, uh, you know, thank you, little one, thank you, slave. Just something really, really short and quick like that can do so much. And I think as well, let me just emphasize this here, that it's not stepping down for the dominant to say thanks or show gratitude. It's leading by example. And I think this is something that I wish we kind of emphasized more when we talked about BDSM and DS. But if you want your submissive to have good manners and say please and thank you and know the proper protocol and know how to, you know, be a neat person and have manners, saying thanks around your submissive to them is a great way of demonstrating what your expectations are and what you consider the polite thing to be. So not only can it be something where the submissive is being recognized, you're also reinforcing the structure of the relationship and leading by example, which is really great active dominance, which is I think something we could all use a lot more of in many of our relationships. Besides thank you, another really great thing you can do is make eye contact. You can do this while saying thank you, you can do this while giving orders or receiving service or giving direction. This is another thing I don't think we do enough of. Not enough people look each other in the eyes. And I am somebody who personally doesn't like eye contact. I am actually somebody who has a little bit of an eye contact restriction kink, if I am being honest here. But for a lot of people, just having that moment of eye contact, because throughout most of our lives, throughout all the people we interact with during the day, there's actually very little like real meaningful eye contact that happens. And just having that moment of looking your submissive in the eye or having the submissive, you know, receive your eye contact and saying whatever it is that you're gonna say, whether it's Thanksgiving orders, whatever it is that I mentioned, that can be so powerful because you're saying with that eye contact that I am with you. I am in this moment. I am here with you. I am present and I am mindful of what we are doing in the service. I'm not just flippantly yelling at you from the couch to get me a drink. Even if you don't necessarily want to get into the habit of saying thank you, just making that eye contact can make the relationship feel so much more present than it is naturally for a lot of people. Okay, so more ideas for showing gratitude. You can also say please when you are, are giving orders or providing directions. It's again, one of those politeness things. It's a leading by example situation. But if you say something like, can you please Please fetch me a drink or would you be so kind as to remove my shoes that's again leading by example it's being courteous to your submissive and again it's another way of saying I am present in this relationship I am aware of the time it takes you to do this and I am grateful for the fact that we have this relationship another way that you can do something similar to thank you is just acknowledging in general when a submissive performs a task and acknowledging when they do the right thing, when they have completed a task successfully. At least for me personally, it really hurts to have a situation where I've worked hard on something for my dominant, be it reorganizing the garage, cleaning out the closet, taking out all of the three loads of recycling. If I don't have that acknowledged, it makes me feel hurt. And I think for a lot of service submissives, it can feel that way as well. So beyond just giving the orders, you know, acknowledging that your submissive has done something, that they've done the task and that they have done it in the way that you expected them to rather than just silently going, okay, great, that was done, now moving on to the next thing is another great way to stay mindful and show gratitude for the service that you are being provided by your submissive. Now this next suggestion is probably gonna be a little bit controversial because I think in some ways it can be seen as inverting the DS structure. But another way you can show that you are thankful for your dynamic as somebody who's being served and the one who is serving is to ask your submissive how they would like to serve you. You don't have to do this in general as like a blanket rule, that's how you do your service, although you can do that. But maybe every once in a while when you find yourself with some free time, maybe you have a Saturday afternoon with nothing planned, you can ask your submissive something along the lines of, how would you like to serve me today? And that gives them the opportunity to maybe engage in a service activity that they've wanted to do for forever. Like maybe they want to wash your car in nothing but a white shirt and a pair of bikini shorts, 
which may be good for you as a dominant, uh, but it's not something that would normally be part of what you would ask them. You get an opportunity to grow their relationship, try out new forms of service. And again, it's reaffirming, acknowledging you are aware of what their service is and aware of the fact that they have their own needs and wants too as a service submissive. Now, of course, you need to make sure this is something where you're not just letting the submissive run wild with whatever idea they have because it may not be something that works for you. And if that's the case as a dominant, that is your authority to be able to rein it in. But in general, I think it's a good idea to every once in a while, throw it out there, give the submissive an opportunity to express what they want from the relationship. If you find that your submissive is struggling with the task, just a quick little aside here, also make sure you recognize that as well. Don't just, you know, straight up punish them unless that's part of your relationship. But if you notice that your submissive is struggling with something and they're honestly giving it their best shot, recognize that effort because while it is definitely a really good idea to make sure you notice when something has been accomplished successfully, it's also equally important to reaffirm that the entire relationship isn't gonna fall apart because they overcooked your steak by a minute. Another key thing is a lot of service submissives are very much perfectionistic and having somebody else in their life that is there to say, hey, I love you even when you're not perfect and we're not currently at that level of high protocol right now in this moment to where a minute difference on my stake is the difference between life and death and the relationship ending or not, that can be really powerful. That can be a really great tool that makes the submissive feel more comfortable in their position as a service submissive. Now, if you are in a really high protocol situation and you have negotiated that if the steak is even a touch over or undercooked, they have to have 50 spankings, that's all well and good. But just keep in mind that for most people in service relationships, that is not the normal everyday procedure. You can also offer your submissive help. Again, this is one that's kind of counterintuitive, but you can do it. You can offer to help your submissive and do it in a way that doesn't completely damage the relationship. Because if you're noticing your submissive is struggling with the task and it's taking them twice as long as it should and they're getting frustrated and they're raising their voice, maybe they're even trying to hold in tears, offering to help is again a way of saying like, hey, I recognize this is a difficult thing that I've asked of you. I am willing to help. I am not beneath helping you and if it means getting this task completed you are still offering service to me it's not right for everybody's ds relationship but again it's another way that you can show gratitude for the things that your service submissive is doing and the very last point that i want to make in this video is know your love language both as a submissive and the dominant should know it as well and use that to figure out a way to offer gratitude in a more specific context beyond just the specific act of service and using your please and thank yous. If you're not familiar with what the five love languages are, I will put a link down to the quiz below. It's very, very popular on the internet. It's been around for forever. I remember my parents having this book at their house when I was a kid. And basically it's a way of deciphering how you enjoy being shown love and how you enjoy showing love. There's five categories obviously, and they range from everything like acts of service, quality time, gifts, all of those sorts of things. So if you can decode what your love language is, you know, to you, what you like giving, what you like receiving, and what your partner likes receiving, and what you like giving, that is a huge step up in your relationship for being able to evaluate how you want to be shown affection when you've done something and when the relationship is is going well and you are obeying the rules if you are somebody who likes quality time as your number one thing then maybe show them gratitude by offering them a night out where it's just you and the other person if you are somebody who really enjoys giving gifts and your submissive enjoys receiving gifts offering them a small token as a reward for the efforts they've put in during a hard night of service or a week of doing all of their chores that can be a really great way to do it as well but definitely check out that website because i think there's a lot of really great ideas in there and they have a whole book and everything and i promise i'm not sponsored but i think that is a really great place to go if you want to be able to decode for yourself how you 
enjoy and how you desire to have love expressed towards you. So I'm gonna try and wrap up this video here. Hopefully you guys found it interesting and helpful. These are just kind of a few little ways that you can try and incorporate gratitude into your service submission. And the key thing with all of this is, is you need to communicate with your partner. Nothing is going to change if you just hope they would start saying thank you and please more often. All of this starts changing when you start having conversations. So you need to sit down with your partner in whatever way you are able to do that within the bounds of your relationship and sit and talk about this specific problem. You know, do all of the normal good heart to heart talk practices. Try not to be, you know, too blamey. Try to use I statements, all of that good stuff. If you guys have any questions or want to know kind of how to start these conversations, I am more than happy to help out people on Patreon because that is what I have time to help out with or you can ask during our weekly live stream but that's all I wanted to cover today hopefully you guys found it interesting and helpful any comments or questions leave that down in the comment section below I love hearing from you guys we live stream once a week and I have videos twice a week so if you want to make sure you don't miss any of those please subscribe and finally if you really enjoyed this video and you want to help monetarily support my channel so I can make more videos like these best place to do that is on patreon link will be down below and until I see you guys next time I hope you have a great rest of your day